Hello guys, welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. In my last video where I discussed the factors you need to consider to select the best type of irrigation for your farm, I made a statement about rain gun being the worst type of irrigation system you can use on your farm. So on today's episode, I will be expatiating and uh, explaining the reason why I said rain gun is the worst type of irrigation you should consider using on your farm. So, um, in case you are watching for the first time, my name is Laura Lushaya Lawa, and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. I'm a farmer by training, by practice, and by education. So, to start with, one of the reasons, the number one reason why this rain gun uh, is the worst irrigation system you can use on your farm is that it requires high amount of pressure, which will translate into you uh, spending more on power to power it. You get it because it operates on pressure, so that is the number one thing. The operational cost is very, very expensive. That's number one. Unlike the drip irrigation, that you don't need any machine to pump or to supply pressure, you just need your drip line and you deliver water to where it is needed. The number two thing about rain gun irrigation is that the way at which it delivers water, it delivers water with a kind of pressure force. And that pressure, when it landed, when it have impact on your plant, especially the flowering plant, it results into flower abortion, and which will result into no production, especially for crops that do bring out flower, like tomato, like so many other things, like tomato okra. If you use it on those kind of farm and those things, the water landed on the plant with that force, it will result into flower abortion. And when flower abortion happens, it means no production from that plant. So that is the number two reason why you should not consider uh, using rain irrigation on your farm. Another thing is that uh, research has shown that uh, having water on the body of plant for a longer period of time subjects plants to fungal diseases. And in rain, in rain gun, uh, when you are using rain gun, rain gun only deliver water at the body of the plant, as in it deliver heat overhead with pressure. And when this happens, you have so much water on the body of your plant, which disposes, predisposes your plant, your crop, to fungal infection, and you will be needing to be spraying chemical again. So another thing is that it results into splash. When those water landed on your on your crop and on your plant, it 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 brings about splash, spo uh, soil splashing on your on your crop, and also uh, support the transfer or the transmission of soil bone diseases on your farm. That's another thing. And another reason why it is very, very bad, especially when you are using it on a sloping land, it supports or it causes soil erosion. It causes soil erosion and it destroys the soil structure on your farm. Another thing, I, I cannot even run out of a <laughs> reason why you should not use this on your farm. Another thing is that you have to be moving it because it will, it, will, it will deliver water, but it will not deliver water across. So you move it from point A to point B for you to have an, an, an equal access of water. And most importantly, most important, another thing with this type of irrigation is that it uses high volume of water, which is not sustainable. It uses water too much and it delivers water across all the land area of your farm, even where the land is not, uh, when your crops are not growing because it's not specific in the delivering of the water. So at the end of the day, you have so much weed to be tackling with on your farm. So, and lastly but not the least, the water delivery is being affected with wind, especially when your farm is a little bit on the high level. So, delivering the water will be affected uh, by wind and it will result into a regular uh, delivery of the water. With this, I've come to the end of today's topic and I hope uh, you've gotten the reason why I said rain gone is not... <laughs> I don't consider it as a way of irrigation for agriculture. Maybe the reason why it was this, it was designed, it was designed for another purpose. It's not basically agriculture. So that is my belief, and I think I've been able to convince you and not to convince you the more. Uh, if you actually got value from this video, kindly give it a like and share with your friends. And uh, if you are watching for the first time and this uh, content resonates with your interest, kindly give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more uh, content like this. Thank you for your time and see you on the next one. Shishi. Peace.